Hey guys, this was the Barda Town for Alpha 15.1. Um, Joker, myself, um, Tink, and a few others um, helped in the construction. Uh, this is our seven day um, takeout area. It's basically a bank. We just spiked it up, made several killing pits. and repaired the train as, as it got blown up. The walkways... Little safe, it's in there. And then some left it open, but... Little forging and camp area here, just for repairs and stuff. And so when we loot them, we got someone to loot them. But our main base, just over the river here. I'm in God mode just to record the nostalgia of it. So we created a little pathway over because we kept losing our bikes in the water. So. Filled that in. Okay, so here comes the entrance. We've got two entrances like that. Can't get in on foot on this one. You have to be on a motorbike. Right. So I'll clip through for now. You have to be on a mini bike. Or well, there is a in-ground access, which someone stupidly left both sides open, so we could get in. And this, if there's any on there, you can shoot through and loot them from all the way. So it's a little protected, oh shit, area. And then this one's open. We never got around to finishing the bars or even the reinforced concrete on this side. <laughs> so the slope goes down and it goes around there. Uh, entire base, I'll take you down there earlier. Now that you can do spikes on the side, we created these uh, killer light poles, slowing barbed wire in between, two layers of barbed wire, and another one, spikes, barbed wire, two spikes, a big spike, and more barbed wire. And there's gaps everywhere, so no matter where they die, you can get in and loot them and and uh, harvest their bones and stuff. And this goes all the way around. Then we have double draw drawbridge entrances. So an old shit moment, they're coming in, you let them get on there, you open it up, they fall to a spike pit of death. And again, you can get under it and loot them from underneath. Four layer level defense wall. This is how you get down there to loot. Four levels, so you can sh shoot them. Anything that dies on the spikes or you shoot from here, the bodies roll down and you can loot them safely in this. Again, goes all the way around. Next level, clear for killing. The cop puke can't get you because it will hit these well, these um, pillars instead. It's a very safe way of killing. Next level, just pretty much open open space for you to kill. And then the last one. Again, just get them as they're coming off the, up over the ramp. And then there's a roof. I don't think we ever fought from up here, but you could get a better vantage point. Then, after that wall, we've got another perimeter that you can 
farming. It's all fully fertilized. And you got the basic wall. It came with the POI. We never really did anything like that other than upgrade. We've got a mini bike sto storage for anyone who needs one. The gas. Empty right now. Oh, there's some gas. Um, we got our main feral building in here. This was a temporary forging area when we were first building. Um, we emptied it out and took it downstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. Never really did anything else with it. This has got a couple of levels too. Better vantage points. From this one, oop. This one you can shoot on the outside if they in a garden. big garden here. We also added a recipe in for cotton, um, for steel polish. Let's see if we can bring it up. So you could make the upgrade steel, diamond dust, oil, cloth fragment, murky water, or instead of the oil you could use aloe cream or snowberry extract. The diamond dust is uh, we give a use for raw diamonds rather than just selling. Which is just one raw diamond and it create you need two to create five hundred I believe. Okay, let's take more inside here. Then we go down. We need a little pathway down. Yeah, let me turn this off. There we go. Public storage, crafting area, mean town. So, the public storage. Tools and ready to use. Splints, bandage, aloe, etc. We got parts for medical. Here you got foods, schematics, books, miscellaneous. This is more like for the people who don't like to sort, they just come here, dump it out, and then Joker will clean, sort it out later. So he says he won't. He will. He's too ADE not to. So it's all nicely labelled what each thing is. Then we got public crafting room. So you can make anything in there. And then the main town. Okay, we never really made separate quarters, uh, mainly because no one really was playing other than us, but we got a few people we made this temporary room for. And then this is where the townhouses were going to be. I think the only person to ever really make one was Oil Bob. Let's see what he did. I've never been in here. He just made a nice little square room in there. Okay, so we've got Barter Town Traders Row. Cipher's Magical Menagerie. Oh, all the things in there. 
parts and bits from Rui, Luton Joker, and spaces for the people to put their stuff too. And chill out area. Which was left open. That's where all our goods are stored. Not really sure what happened with the rest of it. Uh, Logan apparently had some kind of uh, accident which uh, caused a big hole. But he wasn't playing, so. This is new, I haven't actually seen this. Wonder whose place this is. They didn't put a nameplate out. Probably Rui. That's cool. And then see garage and exit so what we made was a garage basically you have a mini bike gas pump reinforced steel bars and at the back there's no door if you want to claim it you put a door on and it became yours and we had several of these just not uh, in person. Um, a nice 30% ramp so it's easy to get that. And you're out. I'll use the bike just to do a quick lap of the outer structure we did. Oh shoot. As you can see, we made it totally leveled out. Allowed the outer part to be. However big it needed to be to make the rest of the base level. Oh crap. Bye bye, mate. still bounce down. One day they'll figure out how to make a smooth transition downhill. <laughs> oh, someone else made some of here. That's not the way to the bank. See what they built down there. Oh, they made a tunnel. Looks like they're making an underground tunnel to a federal bank. Okay. Is 
doesn't I? Forging crafting area. Seeing as what was happening is people would come on, use all the resources we were making, we didn't have enough to make stuff, so we uh, we made our own little area just for essentials for getting the base done. Um, that's where we hid them. So we made a quick exit in case we were out there and needed to get up to the top. This just brings you back to the original steps. Okay, so that's everything. Um, one of the farm. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, turn that off again. Okay, so Logan made this cool little water source. So we got water. You need more. You just take the fragment off, and it flows in. Plug it back up, and it stops it. So you always have a nice water source. made a mega farm, lots of seeds for everything, at the moment we're doing big aloe production so we can make the steel but there's enough to do a row of 50 of every type of seed in here and because it's all fertilized you get a heck of a lot of resources out of it. There's holes, let's see if I, I do this, there's holes all the way up to the surface daylight in. And then I'm starting on for on a little room here. Didn't really finish it. I still got a lot of spikes to do. gonna cover the whole thing in these spikes. Basically recreating a a base time stru structure I myself used when I first started playing the game. And then inside place for sl sleeping bags. Cooking. Forging anything can station workbench and here again things marked out and mass producing fuels <laughs> no forges Bases took a this base took a lot of steel, concrete, all kinds of stuff. So, okay, so that's uh, I think that's it. Let's just have a quick nosy round, see if I missed anything. So I think that's everything. Ah, yeah, that's everything. So that's uh Alpha 15 build. It is quite the complex. Anyway. Guys, we're going to wipe and restart.